Hello and welcome. This is Annie from God in Scripture and we have finally got to day 24 on the Advent calendar and it's Christmas Eve of course. So let's just have a quick look and see what's been going on on the Advent calendar. We can imagine a really cold starry night in Bethlehem and what's been going on here? Most of the windows um, have been angels adoring the Lord from above and there's the Holy Spirit and the animals there waiting for the Lord and more angels, the kings coming, I believe that's the kings, angels singing. What's going on now I wonder in Bethlehem? I think Mary and Joseph might be looking for accommodation and uh, there is Mary, she is praying, preparing for the coming of the Lord and that's how we should be in these final hours preparing our hearts for the coming of the Lord tonight at midnight and the gospel readings from last Sunday leading up to today Christmas Eve and the midnight mass are the unfolding of this story in Luke's gospel so I've just made a little short video um, of what happens uh, in these Gospel readings. Mary had been chosen from the beginning of time, and when the time was right for God to become man, Mary was immaculately conceived in the womb of her mother, meaning that through the grace of God she had no sin. So her womb became a second ark of the covenant. She had to be sinless and holy in order to bear the Son of God in her womb. The angel Gabriel greets Mary with these words, Rejoice, you who enjoy God's favour, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid, you have won God's favour. Look, you are to conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. God gives us complete free will. So when Our Lady said, Yes, I am the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to thy word, the Holy Spirit overshadowed her, and God became incarnate in her womb. The angel Gabriel ended his visit to Mary by telling her that her cousin Elizabeth, in her old age, had conceived a child and was now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. And the angel left her. So then Mary set out as soon as she could to visit her cousin Elizabeth. This journey from Nazareth to the hill country of Judea would have taken several days and must have been quite arduous. And we can imagine the excitement and joy as Mary enters Zechariah's house and greets Elizabeth. Let's see how Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and how she responded to Mary's greeting. Of all women you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honoured with a visit from the mother of my Lord? Look, the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. So the baby in Elizabeth's womb was blessed by the presence of God incarnate in the womb of Mary and literally leapt for joy, causing the Holy Spirit to speak these wonderful words through Elizabeth. And Mary, also moved by the Spirit, proclaims, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked with favour on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. And Mary, so humble and so charitable, stays with Elizabeth for the next three months and then sets back for home. And so let us pray with Mary and St. Joseph to receive the Lord deeply into our hearts this night and all throughout Christmas. And may the infant Jesus give you abundant blessings of joy and peace to you and your family. Amen. <laughs>